What's up guys, Haley on here and today we are going to be visiting La Trilita. That's the uh, Mexican food trailer that Geo's family runs. My favorite Mexican spot in town here. Excellent, excellent food. Uh, we're just going to stop by and grab something to eat and say hi. And You guys probably can't see this because it's an overcast day, but I'm at 900... 999 miles right now. About to hit a thousand. Oh, there it is actually. 1,000 miles on this thing. Uh, I'll give a, um, like a 1,000 mile review type video coming up soon here. Basically just talking about, you know, me starting on a 600cc. You know what, screw it. Let's make the video right now. Okay, so we got a thousand miles on this thing. And I, yeah, I started on a 600. This is a 636 2023 Kawasaki ZX6R. And it's got the inline four dual overhead cams. Um, very fast motorcycle for a beginner, maybe. But, like I've said in my previous videos, I just did a lot of practicing on the back streets. And uh, kind of grew into this bike, maybe. I'm not really grown into the bike quite yet, but... Um, yeah, still learning, but I just knew I didn't want a 400, you know? Uh, not just from like what other people's uh, what other people have said about 400s, but I just knew that that this would be like more of a fit for me. Ooh, there's a little oil there. Ah, it's green, but they're looking at me. <laughs> Distracted driving, man. If it's not the phone, it's it's anything else but driving. We got some dark tinted windows on this uh, family van here, her SUV. Where are you from? Lyon County? Still legal in Iowa. I don't think it's gonna rain. But anyway, what I was saying about starting on a 600 is that it, it's been great. And I, I think, um, you know, with the right mindset and control, I mean, you can start on a 600 also, really. That's just my opinion though, you know. People have different, um, hmm, different, how do I say this? Their daringness to have, you know, this this much power might not be like what's mentally for them. Here we are though. La Trilita. This food is so amazing. I'm just gonna eat it right here, I don't care. This is Gio's Mustang. This sexy lady of a Mustang. Or sexy dude. P2. What's up, P2? looking good. Check it out here. Yeah, looks great. But anyways, the uh, 636 here, it's, it's been really good to me. You know, it's got plenty of power, but like controllable power. I knew I didn't want a thousand cc. Uh, you know, you'll get your mixed um, suggestions from people you know like oh don't get a 400 or you know start on a 400 because you'll be able to have a lot more fun that way you know at, at max range power and stuff and a lot of the stunters that I that I follow really like this 636 whether it's so 304 or 17 plus or or not 17 plus um 13 plus is it 
and then we got the 19 plus here and then the new zx6r that just came out 2024 or for 2024 has slightly less power than this actually something about meeting like the euro 5 regulations yeah i just got the um impact tech crash cage here that i installed myself um this part was a pain but the rest of it was pretty decent this through tube here goes through the frame uh m4 mini exhaust this part was a bitch to get off. Uh, I have the video, the time-lapse video on my channel that you guys go check out if you guys would like. But other than that, I do want to get, next would be like the subframe and uh, different rear sets, just so I can tip this thing over and it won't damage it too much. This will take a lot of the impact. Obviously that's what it's for, but I've seen some crashes with just this alone. It saves a lot of the bike. So, yeah, let's go get something to eat. What's up, man? Can I get uh, three birria tacos and a horchata? Yeah. He's gonna have to wait a little bit because I gotta heat up somewhere. Oh, no worries, man. Uh, let's have a ring on the okay. All right, got them all paid up. Um, these shock socks, also, that I ordered online, they're like 15 bucks, but they protect us from dirt getting inside here and stuff so yeah you just uh, velcro it on there and it's really nice both sides obviously <laughs> ah yes dudes this is what I'm talking about idiot tacos or brisket tacos they're like world-class man so good I got my horchata there. Here's to a thousand miles. The green sauce is my favorite. Oh, so good, I'm excited. All right guys, before they close up, um, this is La Trulita, and I'll show you actually a video trailer of theirs um, so you guys can see what goes on inside better. So here it is. Yeah guys, they are one of the nicest families you'll ever meet. All right, back to starting on a 600. Now, I really do, or I really can recommend you starting on a 600. I, you know, but that, that's really up to you. Like some people, like I said, start on a thousand. Some people start on 400. It's it's really up to you. And you know, at the end of the day, and the final decision should just come up to you. And and whether it's a sport bike, a cruiser, or supermotor, or whatever, even cars, whatever. It's it's really what I want you to take away from this whole thing is um, just make sure you get the bike that you want. You even down to like the color and everything. Like I, I know it's difficult because you either get impatient or you know you just kind of settle because it's it's like right in front of you you know it comes down to like impatience or whatever or maybe you know it's not available when you want it also coming down to impatience but yeah get the bike that you want because you're you're gonna be like the happiest at that and you want a bike that you are gonna be happy with you know the the bike and that's exactly what I did and I'm just so happy for this thing every single day like I think about this at work um, <laughs> just this bike is constantly on my mind and motorcycles in general are just constantly on my mind what people are doing on motorcycles but anyways um, yeah just start on the bike that you want it, it, it comes down to you you know uh, 
it, it might sound dangerous, but that that also is up to you. Like, uh, con learn control. You know, like thousand two miles of experience for me, and I'm telling you, like, you just gotta learn control the bike, do your research, and just study everything about it. Uh, you, you're gonna love it. Just get the bike that you want. Okay. So. Hopefully that helps you guys with like a thousand mile review on this thing. Um, have I had any problems? No, obviously. And one piece of advice someone told me was um, if you get something brand new, you're not going to spend a lot of time wrenching on it because obviously, you know, you want to spend more time riding on riding on it than wrenching on it. So, okay, sound good? Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Like my little stall there that means you should subscribe and after that click on this video to or wherever the video is to uh to watch the next one cool dudes <laughs> all right i'll talk to you guys later